So welcome to Bunny's Designs. This is a live show, live Thursdays. It's recorded for Ustream.tv and also for YouTube for people to watch at their leisure. I've wanted to show what was in my pencil case, or really it should be called pencil cases. This particularly large baby is... Um, A second, let me see if I can find it. This particular one is um, a BTSKY um, 216, and that means that it holds 216, uh, it holds 216 pencils. Um, but I like this one because. The, 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 the sleeves or the pages or whatever you want to call them actually come out like a, like a ring binder it has a ring binder system and this particular one is 13.39 um, which is 34 centimeters by 10.63 inches which is 27 centimeters by 3.94 inches which is 10 centimeters so it's a big baby it's probably the size of a small briefcase and the reason I liked it is it has a handle strap. Now I'm not sure how how well this is going to hold up. Um, this particular one is quite heavy. I think it ends up, you know, quite a few pounds. But um, I'm hoping to leave this one at home so that uh, when you see what I've got in it, I don't really want to be taking this out with me, which is why I bought a smaller one. But this particular one I wanted because it had 216 slots. So it has a nice pulley zip. Um, and it's quite a large zip pull. But I put this little um, tag on it because I didn't want it, um, I wanted it easy to get hold of so I can know where it is. So there is a padded strap. And of course, if you don't stuff it as full as this, it'll be fine. So in this one, of course, it had to be upside down. When, oops, when you open it up, you find you have a pencil, a, a mesh pocket. Um, and that's probably about an A5 size, just a bit smaller. And then there is a zippy pocket. Um, and it has a wide gusset at the far side but I haven't got anything in there because this is quite stuffed um, so I've got in here I have all my black and white and silver and gold pencils that belong to these sets um, because I wanted to get them all in and I, instead of just having three or four colours missing I thought well I, by the time I'd messed about and it did take a couple of goes I've ended up with quite some nice quite sets of pencils in here um, as long as I took out the blacks and the whites, and in the Karen Dash one, uh, I think there's a gold and a silver, but that's fine. It means I don't use black and white very often, in fact, I don't use them at all. Um, but they are there if I want them, and of course, I can soon pick out the gold and the silver and the black and the white of the Karen Dash. And I think this is a vintage set, but we'll get to that in a second. I have extra. Um, extra dark umber that I bought um, separately of the dough of the Prisma watercolours the Prisma colour watercolours and then I've got the black and I have the black somewhere but I don't know where it is it's kicking about somewhere then I have my graphite tint so we have the black and the white I have the Derwent watercolour pencil black and white and then this is the Ink Tense pencils, and they have um, they have a charcoal grey, an Indian ink, an outliner, a black ink, and a Chinese ink. So they're very dark, um, very dark and blacks, which I don't often use. And then there's the white. So I put those in there purely because I managed to get everything else in. So we have the seventy two Derwen Ink Tense pencils. And then at the back, I have my 72 Derwent watercolour pencils. 
I also have my graphy tint, Derwent graphy tint. And then I have some Prismacolor watercolor pencils. And I also bought recently second hand, um, and these were second hand as well, but they looked in fairly good condition. I bought the um, Swiss Colour Caran d'Ache watercolour pencils, and I think this is the vintage set, but I didn't bother because I think it was £20, and I think they're normally about 40 So it was just, I wanted to do a comparison. And then, of course, I've got the Derwent Ink 10 72 pencils. Uh, I love this pencil case because they pop out. So if you were just using these, you could take the first two sleeves out. This has got all the the, the, the chocolates, the dark browns and the greys. Um, and the, the way I've kind of jiggled it around a bit is I've got all my yellows, oranges, reds, pinks and purples. And then I have my blues, my purple blues, blues. And then we go to greens and to olive colours. And there's just one odd one there. But that leads on to the dark browns and blacks. And this is the colour order that I kind of like. Now Derwent normally do put it in that particular order. I think technically it's called light to dark. Um, and then I have the, the Prisma colours and my Derwent watercolours. But the reason I really love this particular pencil case is you can get your colour book in this pocket here you can get a colour book so this particular one is a Kirby Rosanne and this one isn't um, 11 and 3 quarters but you can get either an A5 um, you can get every colour book in here that I have so that's quite nice because it means that if I want to work on one book and try to finish it which is one thing I really want to do I can put that one book in here and then I've always got it with all my supplies so I really like this particular this particular one it's probably a bit heavy to be taking around with you everywhere you go um, but I actually have my travel watercolour book which has all the Derwents in it it has all the ink tens pencils scratched on a square of colour um, I've also got my Neos in here as well, and I will be putting um, uh, I will be putting this book, taking it to bits and putting it back together with bigger squares like the, this this size, uh, because my graphy tint will be going in here, the Caran d'Ache will be going in here, and also the Prismacolor watercolor pencils will be going in here as well. So that means I could I can leave this at home, but this is quite handy if you want to leave it by the sofa. It's not going to be too bitty too dirty so oh sorry I don't mean to say that it just it means they're not going to be too untidy you haven't got pencils everywhere you've got 216 pencils and the pockets so you could probably get 300 pencils in here and you've got your colour book so I kind of like this particular size um, but I have quite a lot of other pencils and I have a vintage set so I love that one. That's got my favourite watercolour medium pencils in. Um, but I decided that I'd like another one. Because I also have my Derwent pastel pencils, which again I love and I use in colour books. So this particular one has the zip, but it doesn't have the flap because it's slightly smaller. This particular pencil case is... It's the it's the U R so it's the U T R O one eighty, and of course this one holds a hundred and eighty pencils. And it's slightly smaller. This particular one is um, it's three point two deep, which is eight centimeters. It's twelve point nine long ways which is 32.8 centimetres and it's 10.3 inches wide which is 26 centimetres 
and I love this one because you can still get your colour book. Now the other one was £22, I think this one was £18. So at the front of this one, instead of having the two pockets, we have another set of rings. So you only get three um, sleeves in this one. You do get the lovely pocket at the back. But this one has four large um, loops. So we've got some smaller ones and some bigger ones. So I decided that that would be good for all, because I could never find my um, blending tools. I've got lots of different blending tools for the pastels. So my blending tools are here, and it's also given me space to put a water brush, because I fix... I fix and set my pastels in a watercolour brush, sorry, in a in a colour book with a watercolour brush or a damp brush. Um, I also use, instead of blending, I actually use the brush to manipulate and work the pastel. And I also use it, it sets it as well. So it turns the pencil, the pastel pencil, it turns it into a watercolour and then it dries and it's, and it's, um, it becomes a watercolour. Technically it's not a watercolour but it behaves like a watercolour. So if you, and you can see all these beautiful soft pastels. Now this particular set is a vintage set from Derwent which they do not manufacture anymore. Uh, but I love these, they are very soft. They are softer than the new version so I've bought the new set as well and the new set has some gorgeous colours there's 72 in the new set and there's 90 there's 30 colours in the vintage so if you see 30 colours and then you'll see a B, a D and an F there's 30 colours but there's three tones for each colour so you'll end up with three hookers greens the hookers green B Hooker's Green F for faint and Hooker's Green D for deep and B is bold, it's the darkest. So if you ever see a set that has three tones, goes pale, 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 that's the vintage set which is very soft and I love it. But I think artists kind of thought they were too soft so don't change the pigment and these are a little bit, a little bit harder so it doesn't rub off too much the, the binder is slightly different but this is the vintage uh, this is the Derwent watercolour set that you can buy oh gosh sorry the Derwent pastel pencil set you can buy now so they will look like this they will all um, and these are 7 millimeters, 8 millimeters, and these are 7 millimeters. so the strip is 3 millimeter, but on this one the strip is 4 and I kind of like the old ones. They're, they're very, very soft. Um, somebody did a comparison between these and the... Uh, I think it was Karen Dash. There's another very popular... Um, I think it was Faber-Castell. Uh, and he said that really there wasn't much in it. They were the same texture. So if you could uh, there, watch the comparison... They're very similar. I don't have any of the other ones. I just have the Derwent because I am a bit of a Derwent nut. And again, you can get the Kirby Roseanne colour book in here. So it's a little bit... I don't think it's much shorter, just a little bit. But you can still get your colour books in here. So I will be putting my Harry Potter in there because this is the pencil. I use the Harry Potter colour book um, with my pastel pencils. But I've also got my vintage set as well and I've got my blending tools. So I like this set because again everything's together. The blending tools go with the pastels so they are with the pastels. So I kind of like that. I mean that's just um, a brush that I use. So all the others kind of sit quite nicely in there. Uh, but I also have some more pencils. Uh, this one has the strap. 
it's a bit lighter because there's less pencils in it um, and this probably would be okay to take around with you the other one is just a bit heavier this isn't so bad compared to it. it's got it's stuffed to the rafters and it does have all my blending tools in there as well uh, but I do have some other pencils and I have some other I have some drawing pencils as well and just recently I started to draw with pencil again and do some grayscale so I love this colour but I couldn't get it in the bigger one so this is the teal colour and this again is the smaller version so instead of the two pockets at the front we've got the big loops and we have small loops and in this particular one again you can still it's exactly the same size as the small pink one 180 pencils in there this has got my vintage set of Derwent watercolour pencils um, and I love them using them as a watercolour and I use them particularly so I'll probably be putting this in there as well and I use them on a paper palette you have more control if you use them on a paper palette so you can scratch some colours together and that's the wrong book I think and you can scratch them and mix them together and I'm using them in another colour book I don't think it was this one I have so many of these little sketchbooks but they will do a little bit of a watercolour they won't do too much but you can use them um, for a, a watercolour sketch so you can use them wet uh, this a particular one is the Dale Rowney sketchbook and it's 160 gm so it will take a little bit of a damp brush and I use it for uh, colour swatching and I was putting the, pe the pastels in the very pale leaves again I used it as a paper palette and so this is the palette that goes with this page and I've, I've labelled them as I've gone along so um, let me have a look which one it was. I must have three of these. I've got so many sketchbooks. Um, I think this belongs with one of the videos. This is one of the videos. So I was making the greens up. You can mix your own colours together instead of using the greens, or you can mix, scratch the green and add things to it. So I added yellow to this one, and I added blue. Um, I don't know what I was using the pink one for here. Yes, that's the new pencils. So, beg your pardon, that's an old, an old one. This is the one for this one. So, I was making the reds together for this. And then this one, this was the old pencils, and I put the new ones. Now, I haven't put the names on them, um, but this one, I was doing a comparison. Um, and I do prefer the old set. They're slightly waxier. So this is the vintage set, and this is the new set of Derwent pastel, uh, sorry, Derwent watercolor pencils. I still love them, and I use them in the same way. And I just scribble the number on them, so because I know what they are. Um, and this is the palette that I was using, but I think I was scratching a little bit of color on instead of using it more of a wet paper palette like this one. So there's two ways to use them. You can scratch them down as a reference. Or you can use them as a reference and also as a watercolour because these colours will come back, they're watercolour. So you just want to brush. And you've got the colour or you can mix two together to make some beautiful colours. 
and it's handy just to have a pencil and just scratch the colour or actually I've used the actual pencil to scratch to scratch the colours and numbered them um, but that's quite nice and then what I could do is tear this page out and leave it in there because then if I want to come to this and say oh I like that colour how did I make it I have a rough idea of what colours I used um, and, I, and I like to do that because I forget sometimes how I've used things. So this particular page, I was using them as a proper watercolour with a pa pastel pencil. Sorry, with a, pa um, with a palette. I need a mouth for a coffee. So this particular set I would put in here um, probably leave it loose on top um, I've got my paper palette I've got my watercolours I haven't quite decided what I want to put in here I think I'm going to put my, my drawing pencils because I started to draw with pencils again um, I found some quite good mechanical pencils um, that are quite large and so I think I'm going to put my pencils in here so this is going to be um, my watercolour set and my water and my pencils as well and I do like to work this this way so the pencils are in my my colour book here my Dermot watercolour book so all the 72 pencils are in here and I think these are actually the, this set and they're a little bit waxy if you can see um, the newer version which is all the dark turquoise colour um, they're slightly different the, pit, the, 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 the binder in there must be slightly different the colours are the, exactly the same, the same names it's just that the, the, the mine look a little bit waxier they've got a shiny end and the other ones haven't but they're very, very, very similar. So you could use them at, with, as a paper palette because obviously this is what I've used. And I've actually numbered them. So we've got a number six there. Number six. There's a 52 and there's a 52 and they look almost identical. It's just something that the bind has slightly changed. And I think the wood's changed as well. These are about 25 years old, maybe 20 years old. So you can use them as a pencil. You can use them on a paper palette. You can scrape them onto... Um, you can scrape them onto... I'll use a bright colour. A dish. And I don't seem to have any blades with me at all. Um, I would probably put my my sharpening guard and my pencil sharpener in there as well. Let's have a look for a blade. I can't believe I can't find a blade. I've given all my things away. But you could scrape a little bit of colour into the dish and make a wash and it would be a professional watercolour for a wash. Um, so you could just have all these 72 colours and never buy any watercolours. You can use them as a, as a professional watercolour, which is why I've put them in this particular pencil case, because this is going to be my professional drawing rather than colouring in. So there's lots of different ways you can use them, but they're always handier when they're in um, a pencil case and of course this pops out so I probably will take this one out with me because this one I will be taking out and about because it's going to have my sketchbook in it it's going to have my um, my paintbrushes I will be putting my paintbrushes in here because this is going to be my watercolour um, because all my paintbrushes are all over the place so again, I'm going to put all my paintbrushes in here. And I normally buy them in threes, so I'll be putting them together in threes. 
and they'll all sit there. So I've got instead of having all my pencils, my my brushes floundering around, I can put them all in here, and I know where they are. I've put a couple of the brushes into, and if you really want to be so good, put them in order. So we've got number four number eight and this is number six because I normally buy paintbrushes so I can actually get the exact paintbrush I want out and leave all the other ones safe instead of having them all flounging around. <laughs> I do like this little watercolour set. Um, when I go out this is my smaller watercolour set so I normally put I normally put them into here. And then you could put a little sketchbook and things in here. And I do have a little water pot that's that's thin, and it was from when you colour your hair. But I thought it was a real. It's got a good tight, um, doesn't leak. That can go in there because it's flat as well. So it's quite nice to put things in here. My colour brushes, my water brushes. So this is quite a nice little set, but. If I want to go anywhere for a long time to do some some um, some sketches and some um, some watercolouring, then I will put I will take this one with me. And I like the fact that the sleeves have come out because you can flip them over. So again, I've got my lights to purples there. I've got my purples to greens. And then I've left two loops because I want all my browns and greys on here. Because if I'd have wanted to work just in browns and greys, I could take this out and just work from it. But I would have two down here. So I've left those two loops in order to get all the browns on here and the greys. Um, but of course you've got to set it up how, how you need it setting up but that worked for me because it meant that if I wanted to do um, a sepia kind of colour or just um, a, a, a brown tonal shades I just take this one with me but I wouldn't have the two browns that were in next in colour order here so instead I've, I've, I've taken the two pencils out and put them here I hope that made sense And then, of course, if I want to work in the Joanna book, I've got that one with me. I've got the paintbrushes. I've got the water pot. The water pot would probably go in here somewhere. I could pop it in here somewhere. So everything I would need is in this particular... sketchbook in here. I think I have an A4 sketchbook but that's A5 and that's A5 so you would be able to get an A4 sketchbook in there <laughs> and you could also fit a bungle in there as well. Hi bungle. Hello little man. Are you going to, have you come to stay? I think he wants to be next to me. Come sit on mummy's knee then. Come on. Come here. Good boy. Come on. Thank you. You're going to purr. He hasn't grown into his ears yet. He's got huge ears. And he hasn't grown into his little ears yet. As you know. It's okay. Come on. He's, he's keeping himself clean so it doesn't, doesn't bother him too much. He's just a snotty boy. He's got some things stuck on you. Where have you been? Where have you been, you dirty boy? Come on, out of the way, please. We're busy. Thank you. Yes, you can get a bungle in there if you want. You can get a bungle in your pencil case. Can't you bungle? Look at this tail. He's so fluffy. <laughs> he said, is that my tail, mummy? Bungle, you need to move, darling. I know you're pretty, but you need to move. Come on. Thank you. I don't like to disturb him. He's, he's such a good boy. You sit there. You can sit there, mummy. When he was little, he used to sit on my knee when I was streaming. And he'd just go to sleep because he was a tired boy, weren't you? Yes. 
So you could get an A4 sketchbook in there and you've got, um, instead of carrying 72 watercolours in a tube, you've got 72 colours here. And you've also got millions of others because you can mix every pencil together. Um, I do love my Derwents. Yes, I know we love the Derwents, don't we? Sorry, Bumble was just look, looking at me. Um, so I'm going to put my, uh, I've got some watercolour um, pencils, as in um, sketching pencils, uh, graphite, watercolour graphite pencils. Um, so they'll be in there as well. And we'll shut it up with, but no, Bungle, you can't be there, darling. Don't get comfy. Come on, shiny boy. I know you want to be there, but you can't. So I like the fact that I would, again, know that all my pens, my paintbrushes are in there that I use um, in a particular way because I want to get them away from having them in pots because I've got three pots of pencil cases. Uh, sorry, three pots of, pe of paintbrushes. So we'll zip this one up. I'll just get the paintbrushes out because I actually want to use them for something else at the minute. So they're quite easy to get out if you don't have a bungle, because bungle likes pencil cake, pens and paintbrushes, don't you bungle? Thank you, that's mine. Mm. Well it was, it's on the... No, you're not going to play with that, little man. Come on. Oh, did you? So that's what's in my three huge pencil cases. things in it and they're all neat they're all tidy and they're easy to find because sometimes if you have them in a tray you're frowning around which I am with the pencils at the minute they're in a big tray and I can't see what's what and if I want to find one pencil it might take me 10 minutes so I love the fact that these look very tidy uh, they would go on the bottom shelf of the drawers uh, of the shelves rather and um, I know what's in them. I'm going to make a nice little label so we know what's in them. So I can say to hubby, um, well, I can say bring the green one. I will know what I mean. But with these two, one's got pastel pencils in it and the other one has all the other watercolours in it as well. So that's what's in my giant pencil cases. Thanks for watching. <laughs>